what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video i have tons of motivation for you we are going to get it all done today and if you are new here or if you didn't know i live in texas and as we all know by now texas got hit by this winter storm which was pretty much a wild ride and in the area that i live in we didn't have electricity and running water for almost a whole entire week. Therefore, all of my chores got put on the back burner and I just wanted to quickly give a quick shout out to all of my family and friends who constantly reached out to us just to see how we were doing through this whole entire storm. And you know, God is good and we have no complaints. It's truly a humbling experience in all honesty, but we live by faith and not by sight. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into some motivation. So you'll see that my house wasn't like a huge disaster. I, for the most part, like to maintain my house. I mean, the best that I can. You know, it's me, my husband, and usually we only have a lot of things just laying around that need to be picked up and put away. So that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing here. But you're going to see like the raw footage of me just jumping around from place to place. For example, I start off in the kitchen and then I end up in the bathroom somewhere or in the laundry room, putting <laughs> laundry in the washer back into like the living room or in the kitchen. So you're going to see a little bit of raw footage of how my day went on this particular day. Since I was already in the kitchen, I decided to go ahead and start prepping for dinner. So I'm going to make red enchiladas for dinner today and I'm going to make my own sauce from scratch and you guys will see that process. For the living room, I'm just going to go in and straighten out everything. I had random things all over the place. And then I'm going to go in and vacuum afterwards. As you can see, I had the fur babies toys all over the floor. And then I had my things, of course, all over the place. I like to just sit here during the day and read my Bible. Sometimes I do some bullet journaling. I've been doing a lot of sketching lately. And then I watch videos and my YouTube friends, I watch their videos and I respond to them. And then I also respond to like comments on my video. So... I like to hang out here pretty much throughout the day.
Then we have the never-ending chore of laundry. And during the storm, I really felt behind on my laundry, but I think that just goes for everyone else. So I'm going in with like my go-to detergent and softener. And the softener that I'm using is this Downy Nacho Blends, which is in the scent Honey Lavender. And this has been my favorite for over a year now. If you guys are seeking to try something different, definitely give this one a try. I find it at Target and has only been the only place that I've been able to find it at. Then I'm going to go into my guest bathroom and give it a quick clean. Nothing too extreme. Um, you can't see that it was dirty and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the shot in this right here. Like I don't know what was going on with my camera but the lighting was just like so bright. And I didn't realize at the time I was filming until like I had uploaded all my footage. So I apologize for that. So now that the chili pods are washed early, I'm going to go in to boil it. And then I'm going to take out the fur babies to use the restroom and then feed them. And once I'm done with all that, I'm going to come in to blend the chili and you'll see how the sauce is made. But the darkness hung and seeped in And it's fine, it's got a thinking Sick and tired of feeling So sick and tired of dreaming Cause I always wake up To start the sauce, I'm going to add three cloves of garlic, about a half an onion, and I'm adding a little bit of the juice of where we boiled the chilies, and then I'm gonna blend everything together. So sick and tired of So now that my onion and garlic are blended very well, I'm going to start adding in my chili pods to the blender. But one thing I did want to mention is I didn't de-stem my chili pods when I washed them and boiled them. That's something that you want to do in the very beginning, but I totally forgot. And it was fine that I boiled it together, but what I really don't want to do is blend those stems. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to leave instructions on how to make the sauce in the description box down below. So now that the chili is completely blended, we're going to add some salt, about two tablespoons, and about a half a cup of water. And the water is more just to make it of that saucy look, if you will. And I also wanted to mention that if you're using store-bought chili, 
then you want to use just regular tap water. You don't want to use anything that you boiled it in just because it is uh, processed very differently and the flavor will be different. So now we're just going to strain the chili and this is probably the most tedious part of the whole entire process. But it's well worth it because now you have chili made from scratch and it tastes 10 times better than any store-bought chili. to really quickly show you the difference so this is what's going to be thrown away this is like the seeds and some of like the skin and then here's the complete sauce right there this is the very last step so i'm taking a huge frying pan and i'm going to add a tablespoon of canola oil and i'm going to add all of my sauce into it and i'm just going to fry it at this point, you also want to taste it for the salt content. If you feel like it needs a little bit more salt, then you just add a little bit more salt. But you really don't need anything after this. Okay, so it's assembly time. So all I have is an iron skillet to fry my corn tortillas. You can use any pan to fry your corn tortillas, but I preferably think that the iron skillet gives it a different flavor, if you will. And so I am just frying my corn tortilla on both sides, and then I'm going to add it into my chili sauce. And for my chili sauce, I'm just going to add some cheese on top of it. It's a very simple process. If you wanted to strain your oil a little bit more from your corn tortilla, what you can do is just, you know, pat it down with like a paper towel. But I skipped this step because it's you know tastes even better with a little bit of oil in there if you know what i'm talking about So I'm going to show you a different couple versions on how you can eat your enchiladas. For example, I am making an over easy egg for mine. And then I also wanted to mention that you can use some onion between the layers of your enchiladas. But I don't really like onions on my enchiladas. But here's what mine looks like. And then I actually use ground beef for my husband's. So this is what his looks like. And so to melt the cheese, I'll just put it in the microwave for a little while. And it looks so yummy. And then now I'm just going to 
clean up everything. This is actually after dinner time. So I am just adding my chili sauce into like plastic bags to freeze. So like I have some for the future. And then I'm actually going to store some in the refrigerator and just some containers for like future meals throughout the week. I needed to sit down and rest for a little while so I went ahead and folded my laundry but now I'm going to finish cleaning my kitchen. So I'm going to just quickly go in and just vacuum for anything that may have fallen on the floor while I was making dinner. I also am going to go in and mop because there was some splatter from the oil of when I was making the enchiladas that fell on the floor and I don't want the floor to be sticky so I'm just going to mop that up real quick.
by this time, I am exhausted. It's about 11 o'clock at night, but I still need to fold this last load of laundry. So I figured even if I just fold the clothes and I don't put it away right away, I can easily put it away the next day. So that was like my thought process when I was folding clothes. I just was trying to like motivate myself still by this time. So I hope that this video motivated you in some way or another just to, you know, tackle the chores in your house. I know I had a hard time getting started, but I figured I need to just start somewhere. So I hope this was motivational to you guys and for more content like this consider subscribing today by hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it so you are reminded every single time i upload and until then have a beautiful and blessed day bye